right, so to start off with, here's the original sample. And to do this, you need a velocity sensitive controller and either a, a MIDI arpeggiator or a note repeater. So to get this started, we're going to be leveraging the velocity based sample start point modulation, just like in the last tutorial. And if you max it out, you should be able to hear it working when you uh, hit the keys at different velocities. Alright, so now we enable the arpeggiator. And just check that our velocity is carrying over with it enabled. So now set the gate time to as high as you can without it actually sustaining the notes. I don't know if this is a quirk with my arpeggiator or if it's the uh, ESI's problem, but it latches on at a certain point, I don't know why. Okay, so to get our grains smooth, we're going to leverage the uh, attack and release of the VCA envelope. Now go back to the velocity modulation page and either start an arpeggio with either a maximum velocity note or a minimum velocity note. My keyboard can't actually get to zero velocity so I'll have to max it out instead. And now we can scroll through the grains using the, uh, the rotary dial on the ESI. And since I'm using a max velocity note I'm going to have to go into the negatives here. If you did a minimum velocity note, you would be in the positives to do this. And that's basically it. If you want to do chords, you can use a, a, a MIDI note repeater instead of an arpeggiator. Oh, and you can also automate the grain placement within the sample in a sequencer if you just automate the uh, velocities. You can also vary it on an individual notes basis this way too, which is cool. But yeah, that's pretty much it. See you.